Brookline Town Meeting approves lowering the voting age to 16. Over in Boston, Massachusetts, a uh, local municipality just overwhelmingly voted to allow uh, 16 and 17 year olds to vote on municipal issues. So this could be an interesting one. But before we get into it, uh, everyone at home, rem remember, none of this is investment advice. This is just commentary. Secondly, if you like what we're doing, subscribe, like, and share this with your friends and your family. And third, if you like what we're talking about and you like us, give us a call, come in and see us. We do full comprehensive wealth management here at our office for all of our clients. So, um, Chelsea, this was your article. Mm -hmm. So I have my own notes, but I'm gonna let you start with this one. What do you think? Um, Why did I, you pick this one? I picked it because it, it caught my eye that they were having such young people considered to be voters in this municipality in Boston. Um, and with the election coming up next year, uh, something like this could really catch fire and something could be easily written into law that allows 16, 17 year olds to be able to vote in the next presidential election. So, um, that's kind of why I chose it. And so I thought it would just be a really good discussion piece mm -hmm. kind of given, given what we're going through right now. So are you for it or against it? Uh, I'm kind of against it. Uh, I get where they're coming from. I get where the uh, logic came from, where these kids, 16, 17 year olds, are holding down a job. They're getting a paycheck. According to that paycheck, they're getting taxed. Mm. And some of that tax is going to the municipality. Um, so I guess they just thought that they should have a voice too in everything that gets passed, okay. the, you know, the laws that get passed in the local town. Um, my opinion is that. Most 16, 17, when I was 16 and 17 years old, like I didn't, I didn't care what was going on politically around me. I was worried about what I was doing on Friday night. Um, yeah. so I don't know if lowering the age will increase interest, uh, for these people to take more action in their community, or if it's just going to be more of a waste of time and they don't really even know what they're voting on. They're just voting. Yeah. Um, well, for what it's worth, no 16 or 17 year olds voted to allow this. It was all 18 and above. So correct. But they we'll see have, what happens. They did have opinions on that article. Um, and some were for and some were against. So I don't know. I, I, I personally think the voting age should be 21, but that's just okay. me. What do you think? So. I, I'm starting to question. Does anybody read the Constitution anymore? Because the 26th Amendment says that you have to be 18 years of age to vote. How can a municipality say, oh, well, we don't really like that line, so we're going to play our own game? Um, I, I don't know how a municipality can say 16-year-olds can vote unless they want to go back and change the Constitution. I also have a hard time when somebody is not le of the legal age to smoke or drink, but they're of the legal age to be able to vote for somebody to run, whether it's a municipality or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, yeah, it did say if they can if they can vote, then they could be able to run and hold positions as well. So. Correct. Yes, and my I guess my thing is it could go completely horrible or it could go completely amazing if for some reason they were to change the constitution enact some kind of different law where in federal voting for presidents and senators and representatives and congressmen that 16 and 17 year olds could vote mm -hmm. um you know they have the ability to shape their future at a younger age and why should we stop at 16 though because I, yeah, kids kids at 14 and 15 are working yeah, let's see things. here hang on hang on hang on slow. time out everybody time out let's see 16th amendment it says right here 26th amendment. excuse me a yeah, 26th amendment it says the right of citizens of the united states who are 18 years of age or older to vote shall not be de denied or abridged by the united states or by any state on account of age the congress shall have power to enforce this article blah 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 um i think in the article it did well, say that the state had to approve it so then right does that mean so this That's is just a question. local issue. But how can the local issue, which is governed by the state laws, which are governed by the federal laws, 
not go by the Constitution, which is what the country is run on. Well, there's the Tenth Amendment that says if it's not mentioned in the Constitution, it's a state's rights issue. But it is mentioned. Well, that's what I'm saying. It does come after the Tenth. So does that now mean that I don't know? I just think there's there's I, so many life lessons <clears throat> that that you learn as you become what's considered an adult at 20, 21, and 22, yeah. that you don't have those experiences at 16. Well, I wrote a few pros and cons. My cons were you're very young, you're very immature, you're usually not informed, your life experiences are usually pretty low, military at 18, drinking at 21, owning a gun at 18, uh, legal contracts, you have to be 18, mm -hmm. to get married, you have to be 18, if you get in trouble. Sometimes. I mean, you can be 16 with, and get married, but with parental permission. That's what I'm right. saying, right. Yeah. But 18 usually. Um, being tried in court as an adult versus a juvenile at 18. Um, in fact, before the 26th Amendment, you had to be 21 years old to vote. Although a few pros is, although I don't think you'll see a huge turnout, 16, 17-year-olds, those who want to get more involved can. Um they do work and they do pay taxes, so maybe they should they yeah. be able to have a say? I don't know. I don't know. Um, you would have a wider representation, I suppose. And then there's again states' rights. So, so, so does that mean because they work and they pay taxes, they should have the right to vote? And then you're saying then the contrary that if somebody's not working and doesn't have a job, that they shouldn't have the right to vote? Well, I'm not saying that. I think that's a a large leap because what if you're just temporarily unemployed does that mean you temporarily don't get to vote no I know what you mean by that but no I I'm just saying to be play devil's advocate if you are working and you are paying taxes should you get to vote in those I don't know I'm, I'm generally against it though too I just don't yeah, think 16 yeah. 17 year olds are old enough I'm, I'm completely against it but it would be kind of, again another study or something that could be done that if they did or had the opportunity, who would they elect? You know, if we opened a fake presidential candidate election to 16 and 17 year olds, who would they vote for? You know, would they vote f to keep, you know, Trump in office or would they vote to have a, you know, Democrat come in? I, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what they're at 16 and 17, what policies or what topics are important to them mm -hmm. um and how honestly if that was the case how these candidates would even market to them right how do they how do you, know, you have these demographics that you have to reach out to and and make it a point to say you know that's important to me too i i respect that what are you what what's important to a 16 and 17 year old that an 81 year old is going to be able to relate to i, I just don't know i don't know either yeah. Anything else you guys want to put on this one? I can't really nope. think of any. I think all three of us are generally against 16, yeah. 17 right. years voting. Nope. Right. Okay. Yeah, for what it's worth, there are other cities. I know San Francisco is trying to allow this, yeah. and there are some other cities trying, but who knows. Um, okay, that's all for now. Everybody, thanks for watching. Take care.